What's up, YouTube? This is 2Raw4TV. All right, so Rudy Gobert, who of course got into that skirmish with his teammate Kyle Anderson yesterday in the game between uh, the Timberwolves and the um, uh, New Orleans Pelicans, he apologized for his actions on social media. And um, this is what he had to say. Now I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below as usual. He said, emotions got the best of me today on Twitter. I should not have reacted the way I did regardless of what was said. I want to apologize to the fans, the organization, and particularly to Kyle, who is someone that I truly love and respect as a teammate. Now, there's been some speculation as to what's going to happen to Rudy Gobert. Right, as far as as, as punishment. Um, I would be shocked if he was suspended. Maybe if this was the regular season, but um, you have to understand that the NBA was greatly criticized back in 1997 when um, there was a series between the New York Knicks and the Miami Heat and they got into a skirmish and several players were suspended. However, this suspension greatly uh, favored altogether the Miami Heat because the players that were suspended for the Heat, while vital, were not their key players at least for the most part. I think the only one that was suspended that was a key player that I can recall was Morning. Whereas for the Knicks, there were more of the key players. Like, I think Ewan got suspended for a game. Starks, I believe. Larry Johnson. It was more of their key players. And that helped to swing a series that was overwhelmingly in New York's favor at 3-1. It helped allow Miami to come back and win that series. So, I know the play-in is not exactly the playoffs, but it's related to the playoffs. So, I would be shocked if, and I think something happened recently where a player was suspended during the playoffs, and it may have affected the series or the game at least. So, I, I would be surprised if they uh, suspended him. I would perhaps believe there will be a fine, a heavy fine for this. Uh, but anyway... We have to wait to see. Now, according to reports that I read earlier, it started from uh, Rudy Gobert threw a punch because Kyle Anderson was getting on Rudy Gobert to do something. Rudy Gobert, for all of the hoop, and, the hype and hoopla of this trade, has not lived up to expectations. As a matter of fact. Instead of rising or raising his level of play, he's had a down season. Now, some people are saying, you know, he's not in his prime. I mean, he's only 30 years old. He's not old. I mean, with all of the conveniences and modern-day advancements in medicine and nutrition, I don't want to hear anything about being 30, being old. Maybe 50 years ago, but not today. These guys are playing 20, 21 plus seasons. Vince Carter, 22. I don't want to hear that no more. Commercial airplanes. I mean, uh, not commercial. Uh, private planes. I don't want to hear that. Sleep studies. So, it started when Kyle Anderson told Rudy Gobert, get some effing rebounds. Why don't you block an effing shot? And I think Rudy Gobert said something like, F-U-B. And then he threw a punch. You know? Um, you know, it ain't like he was lying. I mean, you look at the stats sheet. I mean, I know he only played 13 minutes but at the time, but he only had three points. Uh, no, no, I think he had three rebounds, no points, um, no blocks. No assists, and I don't expect that from him. I mean, he wasn't doing much. And it's funny because Kyle Anderson, 
who's a small forward, finished with nine rebounds. So, yeah, the frustration is there because he's he's averaging more turnovers, Rudy Gobert, than he is block shots. So there's definitely some frustration there, you know, as far as his level play and from the teammates. They see it. He's not living up to the expectations. And this guy has never worked on his offensive game. I mean, what is he averaging, 11 points a game? 11 points? Look, Udonis Haslam, who's like 43 years old, right, 43, 44 years old, just scored 24 points in his final regular season game against uh, for the Heat, right? I can't remember who they played against. But he scored 24 points. When the last time Rudy Gobert scored 24 points in the game? When the last time Ben Simmons scored 24 points in the game? That's, 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 that goes to show you. You got people in the NBA, man, that wouldn't even sniff the NBA 20 years ago. They wouldn't even sniff it. And yes, I compared Rudy Gobert, no disrespect to Sean Bradley because I know what he's going through right now. But yeah, I, I, I don't think Sean Bradley's, uh, I don't think Rudy Gobert is better than Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley could block some shots, but he lacked lateral quickness. And he was not a great scorer. But even Sean Bradley had a better offensive game than Rudy Gobert. Even Sean Bradley. And like one of my subs told me after I did that, made that statement in another video on Two Raw for Sports, at least Sean Bradley was a monster. And like I said before, best wishes to Sean Bradley. If you don't know, uh, he suffered a, 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 a catastrophic injury uh, after he fell off his bicycle back in, I think it was 2021, and he's basically a quadriplegic now. So I didn't mean to disparage him in any way. I was just saying that, if anything... Sean Bradley would be a better player today than Rudy Gobert. But anyway, yeah, Rudy Gobert, I mean, you, you talk the good game, championship or bust, but now you see how difficult it is to change the culture of a franchise. You guys got the talent. Why can't it, you know, why can't it work? But anyway, you know, that's all I got to say about it. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, by the way, Rudy Gobert's job to me is to not just block shots, but to be a real defensive presence to the point where he instills fear so much that he alters shots that he can't even get to. That's what Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell did. They psychologically got in the guys' heads. They, they were, there were shots that people missed that they didn't even block just because of the fear, the fear of Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain. And I'll even put in Matumbo, Manute Bowl, Mark Eaton, those guys, the great, great shot blockers. Guys would look for them and miss layups. They don't have that type of fear of Rudy Gobert. So anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Tell me what you guys think.